what are Java interrupts? Let's try to understand with the example. Let's say we have a thread. Let's call it thread one, which can also be your main thread. And let's say that thread starts a new thread to perform some long running operation. It could be some heavy number crunching. It could be cryptography. It could be something else. Okay, let's call that thread two. Uh, I'm also mentioning that it is a task thread because it's supposed to perform some task. We started this thread and now our long running operation has started. But after a while you realize that, hey, I don't want this long running operation to be completed because maybe you've got some answer from a cache or for whatever reason you don't want that operation to be performed anymore. If that is the case, you're stuck in a pickle because there is no cancel method on the thread. So if you look up all the methods that are available on this class thread, there is no cancel method. So how do you make sure that the thread two stops and does unnecessary operations? There is a mechanism available which is a cooperative mechanism in which the thread two says that, okay, if you ask me nicely, I may stop. I cannot promise you I'll stop, but I may stop. And that mechanism are interrupts. So if a thread one calls the interrupt method on thread two, thread two can choose to stop its operations, right? It may or may not, and that's why it's a cooperative mechanism. A thread cannot force another thread to stop. So if you want to see how this will work in terms of the code, let's say we have this main method, of course, which runs in a main thread, and we are creating this new task thread. Okay, this new task thread it runs this instance of runnable called a task, which is defined below. And let's say it has some long running operations in it. I'm not written any code here, but let's assume there is some long running operation being performed. And now we are starting that particular thread. Now, as discussed earlier, if you want to cancel that particular thread, that particular task, then there is no cancel method on it. Okay. Another way to cancel it or the, probably the only way to cancel it is calling the interrupt method on that thread. Okay, so you started a thread which is doing some task for you. Sometime later, you thought you changed your mind. You said, no, I don't want that long running operation to be performed anymore. Then you can say task thread dot interrupt. Okay. On the other side, where you are running that particular task there, let's suppose I have this particular code where I'm running some operation from zero, I equal to zero to I less than 10,000. So I'm running this loop for 10,000 times. Within this loop, there's another method which is processing this I, which is a subset of operations, right? Because totally you're going to do call this method 10,000 times. So the other thread, which is the main thread already called the interrupt method, right? Interrupt method just sets a flag on this thread. A flag of interrupt so it is our responsibility in this thread to check or to keep polling whether that interrupt method has been called and the way to do that is you can say thread dot current thread which means my current thread is interrupted this is a boolean method which which asks the JVM whether my interrupted flag has been set if that flag has been set then this thread this task knows that someone doesn't want me to continue running my operations so your i current i can be at say two right so you're, if you stop now you will avoid unnecessarily running this for loop for other 9998 times right and that is why it's a both cooperative mechanism and it helps because it will reduce the consumption of your extra resources so just to summarize, interrupts are cooperative mechanisms for indicating a stop signal to a thread. Okay, they are not a mechanism to force a thread to stop. They are just a cooperative mechanism for indicating that, hey, please stop. And since it's a cooperative mechanism, you can say, okay, I'm polling for interrupt, but I don't care. I'm just going to ignore this. I'm not going to stop. Of course, there's a problem with that because this interrupted flag is already set and you're not setting it back to false you're not resetting it so you're constantly going to come within this if statement one way to avoid that is you can call thread dot interrupted method the name of this method is very poor uh, what that method should have been called is thread dot reset interrupt or something like that so what this is is 
both gives you a value of the interpret flag and resets the flag value to false okay now you must be wondering why ask politely though why not just have a method on a thread which can say okay stop it i don't want you to continue anymore and the reason is you do not know what state that other thread is in so it is important to leave things in a consistent state so suppose it's doing some data operations and it has done only partial data operations now you don't want your data to be in an inconsistent state then you lose the data integrity there could be some open database connections that you want to close there could be open file server connections that you want to close right so when you ask politely when there is an interrupt flag the thread has a chance to clean itself up and you've all you must have also seen a lot of times this interrupted exception why is this interrupted exception called let's take this example so here this is the same example as before here we are saying if the current thread status is interrupted then i want to throw a new interrupted exception the only problem here is we are implementing a runnable and runnable does not allow checked exceptions to be thrown an interrupted exception is a checked exception so you really cannot do this in runnable you have to catch it the other way to do this is you implement a callable instead and callable allows you to throw an exception in this call method and then you can throw the exception so the reason the main reason to throw this interrupted exception is to let the main thread know that hey i got your interrupted flag and i am letting you know that i have stopped my current operations right if you do not throw an exception and if you just return the main thread or the thread which has uh, interrupted this other thread does not know whether you have returned because of your normal completion or because it was interrupted so interrupted exception is a mechanism for letting the main thread know or letting the letting a thread know it has accepted that interrupted flag and it has stopped performing any operations and this interrupted exception is used in multiple places which you'll see in in couple of slides yeah so in addition to the long running threads jvm also does throw this uh, interrupted exception and it also uses this interrupt flags in three places three particular places one is the object dot wait which is your wait notify notify all uh, your thread dot sleep where you want your thread to sleep for a while and thread dot join where you want a thread to wait for other thread to be completed so it works something like this similar to before you have a thread 1 which starts a thread 2 to perform some operation but thread 2 instead of a long running operation this time thread 2 is waiting for something what can it wait for it can wait for a lock obtaining a lock it can wait for an io operation to be finished it can wait for a condition to be met or if it is a thread dot sleep then it can wait for a timer to expire right so it's not a long running operation and yet this thread will wait and it can wait for an infinite amount of time or it can wait for a long amount of time based on when these external operations or the operations which are not in this thread's control getting a lock is not in control of thread 2 the lock can be taken by some other thread and it's taking a long time right it doesn't it is not in control of the io operation it is not in control of the condition it is not in control of the timer right so there are some external factors due to which this thread 2 can be waiting for a long time so in this case when thread 1 says interrupt which says politely asking to stop waiting uh thread 2 will throw an interrupted exception okay and that is why whenever you do thread dot sleep object dot wait you have to surround it with try catch because that is a way for jvm to say that oh, hey i got an interrupt and that's why i'm go throwing an interrupted exception now you do your processing as you wish right and to see the code for this if you do a thread dot sleep and then within 2 seconds if someone calls thread dot interrupt then jvm will throw interrupted exception and uh, you can do your operations so in this case we are just saying system dot out of interlin interrupt or triggered while i was asleep and i'm just going to return this i'm not going to finish performing this operation similarly if you have any condition let's say any object that you are waiting on you can say i'm waiting for this 
okay you're waiting for someone to notify on this particular object and then if it's taking a long time and some other thread says thread dot interrupt then jvm will throw this interrupted exception and there are two methods to check the interrupted status and uh, one is is interrupted and other is just interrupted so is interrupted is as the name suggests it's a simple method just a boolean method which says whether an interrupted flag is set to true or set to false the second method interrupted it checks the flag as well as read sets it right and interrupted is generally recommended when you are throwing interrupted exception so you can combine that reading and resetting the status using thread dot interrupted so you can say thread dot interrupted and you can throw a new interrupted exception so in this case you have also read it and you have also reset it in a single step uh, so that's it for this video uh, hope you got a gist of what interrupts are interrupts are nothing but a cooperative mechanism for thread one to tell thread two to stop its operation uh, at, at the core of it uh, that's all there is to interrupts thanks a lot for listening see you in the next one bye